Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in stormy Central California. Uh, we're still getting hit by a series of storms, and we're still having fun. Rocking the free world. So what I'm doing today, <coughs> excuse me, is super interesting. I'm doing an audit. Um, we've had these, uh, we use these uh, trip light UPSs. I've been out in the field about seven years or so, maybe eight, maybe nine. They were here before I got here. And um, so far we've only been replacing the batteries. Get the light better. We've been replacing the batteries when they fail. But that's not really the best deal. So we've got a project going to um, replace all the batteries. So i got to order them. Before I can order them, i got to know how many I need of what. So there's one up there. Uh, that's the only UPS in this room. This is one of our farthest flung uh, network closets. It's right by the uh, right by the entrance to the hospital. And it's on the very, very sorry. It's on the very very edge of the building. So I'm gonna go back out of here. It's in that room back there, which is in this room right here. Wrong way. Which is in this room right here. Ooh, look at the big machine. Yeah, that's one of the uh, the air handlers for uh, this this floor of the hospital. It's it's a big beast. Don't ask me any questions about it. It's big and it's cool. And that's about all I know about it. It's just a great big beast. These are run by our uh, HVAC guys, and uh, they they could answer all your questions about it. Unfortunately, I know nothing. Now I'm off to a room that looks exactly like this one, um, and you have to be careful coming to these. These are out on the very edge, so you have to look very carefully for black widows. Like, Let's see if we can see her. That one right there. So, you gotta watch out for black widows when you come in this room. Um, because a lot of times they like to hang out up at the top of the door, and you'll open the door and they'll be just like hanging right at base level. Bad news. Alright, let's get out of here. I know where she is. Get. Let's get out of here. So. That's this room. There's the main entrance to the hospital up there. Now I've got to go into another room just like it. Right over there. So I am going to do that real quick. Uh, there's no need to watch this again. I'll be right back and we will continue this video. Alright, so I'm back in this other closet because it's just easier to work with because I've got a shelf here. This transformer, it's a very nice shelf. So what I do basically is just go to each closet and um, I just check. So far I've only run across, oh geez, how's this going to work here? I've only run across um, three different UPSs. There it is. hope this isn't backwards. Um, so I'm just making a note of the UPSs I've run across and how many in each closet. And um, I've already done this closet, but I'll just kind of show you what I'm dealing with here. So way back here, down in this dark corner, there's a floor model, a freestanding model, I guess I should say. See it way down there on the bottom. And then I come through and I check the racks, top to bottom, make sure I don't see the UPSs there. And there aren't. And I come over here, and you see we've got an APC up there. We've got a trip light here. Trip light's what we've standardized on. We've got another trip light here. Three more APCs here. Uh, why the APCs? Well, they were standardized, standardized by our, um, our patient monitoring vendor that we had before, Philips. And um, Philips has uh, removed their network equipment. They left the, uh, the UPSs because they had no need for them. But they removed all their network equipment and I've replaced them with um, my switches, basically. Uh, we differentiate the patient uh, monitoring and vitals 
by using these uh, orange tables, which is what Phillips used. So we just had them use the same ones over and over again. Um, these are some kind of interesting devices that they use. So what they have here on the bottom, that's their wireless controller. Now, if you'll remember, I told you in a previous video some of the adventures we had with the Philips wireless controller. Something that the installation engineers, um, they weren't really engineers, they were just hired help. Something neither they nor I knew about was that once a uh, Philips AP joins the network, it never ever ever asks for a new IP address again. It just gets it and that's it. The only way to, to change the IP addresses on them is to factory default these and then set them up again from scratch with the correct IP addresses. We had to do that two or three times. I say we, I mean Philips when they were on site. Um, so yeah, that's the wireless controller there. Here's the switch. That's what uh, their... So they have two different types of monitoring devices. They have um, patient bedside monitors that connect via the network wirelessly and some that are wired plug it into an Ethernet jack in the wall. So those plug into this. Their wireless network plugs into this guy up here, which is basically a power injector. Uh, it does some other things too. I'm not quite sure what. It synchronizes all the APs. It does, it does stuff. But I don't know what it does. I don't support it, and I don't, I don't want to know. <laughs> but bottom line is it does... Um, supplies the power and connectivity to the AP itself. So the APs are plugged into this patch panel at the top here, way out there, wherever they are. They kind of get patched into the, uh, I think there's this thing called, the Inteleview. They get plugged into that, and that's where their power comes from, and it's also a switch. And then they get plugged into my switch, which gets them onto the network, and then my switch plugs into their wireless controller right here. So that's, they do hop across my network to get to their wireless controller. And oddly enough, they're having problems, I don't think they're having problems with this today, but they're having problems sending data today, so we've got our bioengineers working on that, biomed. Um, yeah, there's not much else of interest here. The APCs are there just because, you know, engineering ordered whatever engineering wanted to order at the time. And whatever they got the best deal on, that's what they would order. So that that one's up there because it was an engineering need. They, they bought it for something they were doing. These are the ones I bought to support my switches. You know, those are the ones that somebody else bought to support their switches, which are now my switches. So there you go, a little sneak peek into what I run into in the network closet. So anyway, I hope that was a little more uh, interesting than the, than the last one. Um, I'll also keep this one short. Um, I've already told you what's coming up. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for this week. So as always, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell if you want to be notified when more of the silliness comes out. And uh, feel free to leave a comment. Ask, ask questions. I love answering questions. Prayer, prayer requests, anything at all. I, I don't mind. So as always, uh, everybody take care and God bless. We'll catch you next time.